Welcome back, Rankers. Well, I've been talking about the Penguin update for about a month now, and quite frankly, I could talk about it for another month, but I won't. I want to tell you this morning about an announcement Google made last week, and a change that it rolled out in the US anyway, called the Google Knowledge Graph, because what it represents is a change in the way that Google is trying to present results and actually find relevant material to your searches. It's looking at searches as actual things. So not just words, if that makes sense. So for instance, I've got a search here going for Obama. You can see here, Google thinks I'm in Los Angeles, California. And what it's produced over here, and it's not clear at this stage whether this is an upgrade to Search Plus Your World, but I'm not seeing any Search Plus Your World results here at, at the moment. This is all Google Knowledge Graph. So it looks like we've got Search Plus Your World, and then it's all of a sudden upgraded to this uh, Google Knowledge Graph. So I'm getting all the factual information here from that Google knows about, and most of it, most of the time, you're going to see it drawn out of Wikipedia. And we've got a photograph here from uh, Google Plus. Here we've got a video which was posted six hours ago via the verified uh, Barack Obama account, and that video there is directly from his Google Plus account. And then we've got here related searches, if, if you like, or what people used to search for. Now I'm sure we're going to see some gaming of these sorts of results here, because you can see already we've got the report a problem link in the Google Knowledge Graph. So you'll see some photographs pop up here that maybe aren't as relevant to that particular search. But to give you an idea of why it's a change, let me type in one of my hero's names, Nikola Tesla. Now many of you have probably heard the Tesla Motors. Well, that was named after this guy, Nikola Tesla. And a lot of you wouldn't have heard of him, I certainly didn't hear about him at school, but basically, once again, we're getting all this information dragged out of Wikipedia, and we're getting you know all the factual information, date of birth, date of death, education, one of his projects, he had thousands of projects. The one that he's probably most famous for, though, is the Wardenclyffe Tower. I mean, this guy invented alternating current, remote control, robotics, the list goes on and on and on. I'm talking about in the early 1900s as well. Then you've got a whole lot of books related to Nikola Tesla or about Nikola Tesla. And then we've got people also search for these guys because Mark Twain was a contemporary of Nikola Tesla. They used to hang out together. George Westinghouse was one of the earlier financiers of Nikola Tesla. Uh, Marconi, who was wrongly accredited with uh, radio, inventing radio, was actually Nikola Tesla did it years before. Albert Einstein, uh, I don't really think they had much to do with one another, but anyway, that's what also people search for. And Thomas Edison, who basically employed Nikola Tesla for a while, ripped him off, also known for electrocuting people's pets and killing them to pr prove the uh, efficacy of his DC technology over Nikola Tesla's AC, and of course AC is what we use today. Anyway, don't get me started. On this side of the results, we've got different pages that are mentioning Tesla. So they're not necessarily factual about Tesla, Nikola Tesla himself. They might be talking about different things. Oh, by the way, he invented X-ray as well. This is what Google knows is factual. So this is, a, a, uh, I guess, a progression to a point where Google's saying, right, there's all this information out there. What nuggets out there are actually real? What can we say this is the fact about the thing that you're searching for rather than just a result on a web page? If we click on one of, say, these related searches, Thomas Edison, we can see no one's writing books about him, um, which is really fascinating. So the fact that I didn't hear about Nikola Tesla at school, but I can do a Google knowledge search now, a Google knowledge graph, and I get all these books about him. Edison's the guy we know about, but there's no books here about him. Weird, huh? So it's going to be interesting to see how this change in search evolves over time. For a business, the sorts of things that you need to think about is that if you're doing anything in the area that has some some factual information about it or historical information or, I mean, travel is a big one. You know, you, you might be a travel destination and you might be publishing documents about that travel destination. For instance, if I was to type in Uluru, and Uluru is a big brown rock in the middle of Australia, 
We can see here, we've got some factual information that's been taken out of Wikipedia, but nothing else. There's no books, there's uh, no people also search for. Maybe if I put an Ayers Rock, which is what it used to be known as, we will get more information. Not really, which is surprising. So if you're a business that maybe has, you know, has published books about Uluru and you have them for sale via your website, you really need to have a look at your, your website to work out why Google's not picking up these things. And it could be that you're just not getting enough citations to those things or to that information that is factual about that thing. And citations, I mean qualitative backlinks. That's why it's essential, as we've banged on before about, to get your Google authorship set up because that's one of the ways that Google can say, Okay, we know who this person is. We know who this author is. The more authors and with, with good authorship set up that link to your content, that link to your information, the more chance you're going to get of turning up in this Google knowledge. So it's an interesting development. Probably won't roll out to the rest of the world probably for another three months until Google's finished tweaking it. Not sure if this is the end of Search Plus Your World, but it's... Um, Let's go and do a search plus your world search. So we'll do South by Southwest, which was the search plus your world. We do, oh well, yeah, search plus your world's still there. So search plus your world is still going to be there probably for people and, and events and those sorts of things. But something that's factual and it's a person or a place, then Google's going to try to put in as much factual information in here as it possibly can. But what it says to me is that stop trying to gain Google, all you people that have been hit by Penguin, start learning to, I guess, get involved in the online community and get links to your content that are from really good authoritative sources. And that is it for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.